Oh man, oh boy, this frame rate is so bad. Hey guys and gals, I'm Paladin. Last episode on Okami, we traveled under the sea to the Dragon Palace, the home of the Dragonian race that controls the water dragon. This episode, we're going to be heading inside because apparently the leader of the Dragonians, Otohime, had been expecting our arrival. So I have no idea what we should expect uh, when we go inside, except the fact that this will be a recolor of Sasa Sanctuary. So if this looks familiar to you in any way, shape, or form, that is why. So you guys should know the floor plan pretty well. However, the secrets have been moved around a little bit. They're not, they're not in the same places. Has your journey tired you, oh esteemed guest of Otohime? It's been decades since we had a land-dwelling vis visitor here, and a lupine guest at that. I must say, this is quite unusual. I wish I knew what Otohime was thinking. Hmm. Well, this is our first, well, our second look at the Dragonian race. The first look was last episode. But yeah, they're very much like normal people, except they, they have like coral hair. And they're just w uh, women. <laughs> That, that's all I have so far. We have yet to see a, a man, Dragonian. Okay, so if we go behind the staircase, there will be a bomble wall. This is the first secret that we can counter. And if we blow the wall up, there it is. There will be a cave. If we jump into this hole, and we will fall into a divine spring. Funny, it's just, this divine spring always hit me as a little bit odd. How, you know, where we just were, was, uh, it was, you know, underwater. That's what the filter on the screen suggested. We were underwater, and yet we fell down into a hole, and somehow we're, we are not in water. I guess just because the designers didn't want to take the time to, to recreate a model of something that would only be used once in the game, and it's a secret at that, so it's not like they need to do it for story's sake, and why is my cursor not working? Cursor, there you go. So, yeah, it just kind of, it always hit me as weird. I guess that's part of the mystery of Divine Springs, how they're not really affected by the world in which they're located in. But it's also, you know, the designers were like, you know what, we didn't want to, we, we don't want to spend the extra budget on this. So that's that's totally understandable, both both points of views. And, and they were probably like, you know what, we don't really have to, because it, it'll kind of increase the mystery and, and mystify the the gamers I don't know so anyway uh, the center chest contains a stray bead which is the first stray bead of uh, of the dra dragon palace so yeah we can feed these boars and then move on our merry way okay 40 40 praise wait 45 praise Wow uh, that put us up enough in in our praise to level up our health again which I will do we are now officially three quarters done with our health. That is amazing. I'll continue to be, upgra be upgrading health over time. I want to do that first because now that we have the uh, the golden ink pot, we're fine on ink pots. We only need to upgrade that uh, for 100% sake now. And astral pouch, I'm not going to be dying. I, I hope not. And pout uh, purse, sorry. Uh, I doubt we're going to be needing to upgrade that in the near future, if ever. Like, when are we going to have enough yen so we'd actually fill up the wallet? Like, we'd need 9 million yen, and I don't see us having that, like, ever. Okay, uh, now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and beam it back up underwater. Oh, I almost went back in. So yeah, underwater from above water, which was under water. I don't get it either. But yeah, uh, the Dragon Palace also. <laughs> Could you picture the guards' faces? Like, we are the we are the guest of Otohime, who seems to be very, have a very lofty position in amongst the Dragonians. And we come in here and we're like, hey, we are the, the mighty, the mighty wolf. Uh, be right back. I need to, I need to check out the staircase. I'm actually, I'm actually a carpenter of staircases. I'm a connoisseur of staircases. And then we go back there, they hear an explosion, and then we're gone for like three or four minutes. And they're just like, what? <laughs> Is Otohime cracking up? I don't know. But yeah, uh, those passages down there, I will not be going in those just yet, because those lead somewhere, and 
going up here leads like nowhere because it's a dead end. So I will like I would like to start with the dead ends first. Plus I don't really want to uh, tally tally Terry Terry no tally I, I don't know I don't want to tally around uh, because we're expected as guests. Okay, in this room, it, it makes sense. I, I was going to say, well, this area, I mean, for a copy and paste of of Sasa Sanctuary, you know, it doesn't, not everything is the same, you know, it only has one room, but that makes sense because Sasa Sanctuary was like a hotel. Uh, let's see, Mrs. Turtle. Okay, what are you, like, Master Roshi's wife? I don't know. Oh? Since when do they let doggies into the Dragon Palace? Still, I'm not one to turn my nose up at a customer, even a dog. This is the palace's treasure vault, and I'm the vault keeper. But everything's got its price, see? Would you like to buy anything? Do some shopping? Yes. Okay, this is just a normal shop, which is... Very strange that she's selling part of the treasury. That doesn't make much sense. And we're actually, wow, we sold all of our all of our treasures, and we're still pretty poor. Uh, so I won't be doing any big purchases here because there are no big purchases to be had. All I want to do is buy nine fish feed bags, and she has nothing else of unique value. So I am done here. Goodbye, Mrs. Turtle. Uh, say hi to Master Roshi for me. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, the other side has another room for us to go in into. Right over here. There we go. Okay, what is this, like a restaurant? Or looks more like a meeting room. Uh, let's go ahead and get this chest before we talk to anyone. Exorcism Slip S. Okay, a little bit random, but I'll take it. And you're a woman too. We have yet to see a male Dragonian. Interesting. This is the Dragon Palace, a sacred place inhabited by us Dragonians since ancient times. Wait, look at what sh she has around her neck. It's like a, it's like a lobster. That's weird. Okay, a little bit creepy. I'll roll with it. And our first guest in ages is an animal like you. Nothing's predictable here in Ryoshima, I suppose. Man, I'm getting. These people are kind of freaky. I'm not going to lie. Like. I, I don't know if maybe I'm just thinking about Pirates of the Caribbean too much, about the the ocean people in that, but it's just really weird. I'm kind of expecting Orlando Bloom to jump out from behind one of those shades any moment now. Okay, uh, you ma'am, you have an octopus <clears throat> sucking on your neck. Okay. okay. Okay, I'm not going to look down my nose on a different species, but uh, you have an octopus sucking on your neck. Now I'm thinking about Doctor Who more than I'm thinking about uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Good, good. Hmm. Canine visitors are few and far between here. Presumably the guards allowed you in here then. I see. You're or you're no ordinary wolf, are you? No doubt you're part of some plan Otohime has devised. You'd better hurry to the throne room and meet with her. I, I will. All in my... Wait, can I hit you? What will you say? What are you doing? N nothing. I'm just... I'm just testing. Like, I've never seen you guys before. I have to see how durable you are. How durable are you, ma'am? Uh, not very durable. Okay, you have a crab, uh, attacking your face. Or the back of your face, I guess. <sighs> what on earth is happening to the Dragon Palace these days? The water dragon going mad, and the forces of darkness invading. There's no end of worrisome things going on. Is that it? Uh, yes, that's it. Okay. I uh, hope you get that that crab problem figured out. Okay, is there anyone behind these shades? Whoa. What? In the... Whoa. That's cool. You guys see that? I go behind these shades, and like, it actually looks like I'm underwater now. Before, it looks like I just have a weird filter on the screen, but when I go back here, when I, when I go back here, there we go, it actually looks like I'm underwater. Man, I wish that filter was on everything, that blue filter. That's cool. I don't even know why it's back here, but it's nice. I kind of like how some of the colors are washed out and and the blues are more prominent than like the reds because we're, we're underwater. That's neat. I kind of wish I could apply that, like edit. I probably could, but I don't really want to ruin the experience for you guys. 
H how can they even have scrolls underwater? That's actually a good question. I didn't think of that. Thank you, Isun, for raising that question. Examine. Examine. There we go. I'd suffocate if I were stuck working behind a desk all day. Of course, being at the bottom of the sea can do the same thing to you. <laughs> Very true in- again. Why do I not think about these things? Like, really, I'm not even- I'm not even doing a thing. I did not think of these things. Like, I'm, I'm so used to Wind Waker and other games that being underwater like this doesn't really make me blink an eye. Uh, thank you, Isun, for raising the important questions of in life. Okay, with both of these rooms tackled, literally tackled, see, I tackled, tackled, that, that wasn't even a pun or a wordplay, that was just bad, really forced. Uh, we can go into this elevator and hopefully find something. Huh? Oh, it's you. Although he may invited you, right? But what on earth does she want with a wolf? At any rate, she's upstairs in the throne room right now. Question! What? <laughs> this is actually another valid concern. These people are just like, they're guards, right? And they're like, oh, did, did Oto Hime invite you? I mean, imagine if I was a, an evildoer. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, Oto Hime definitely invited me. I'm just gonna go upstairs and uh, uh, say hi. Go to our scheduled meeting. Don't you, don't you come running if, if something happens. Just stay here. Stay here. We're actually going to watch like a workout video and work out. Don't come running. Worst security team ever. Okay, uh, we have a bunch of, we had some orbs here. Whoa, that looks cool. Look at this. Like, look at all these orbs. That's really neat. They're not just floating things. They, you can actually interact with them. They'll run away from you. Well, not run, you know, but, but fly. Let's see, I can look up here. That's neat really neat it's one of those things where it's like you know what are those things like are they eggs are they are they floating pearls are they like proto protoplasm is that even a thing i don't know uh but they they work like they're not something that you'd really expect to see in an ocean area they're not really something you expect to see anywhere but you don't really question it because they're cool but of course i'm questioning it right now which makes me uh, uh, hipster. <laughs> Welcome, both of you. Welcome to the Dragon Palace. You are in the Kingdom of the Dragonians now. I couldn't care less who or what you are. All I'm interested in is that lady sitting on her rump over there. That's your leader, right? Well, we have some choice words for her. Yes, it is I, Otohime. Ruler of the Dragon Palace and leader of the Dragonians. Leader of the Dragonians, Oto Hime. Er, uh, ahem. Anyway, we wanted to ask you something. You know that water dragon that's been running amok lately? It's under your control, right? Well, why don't you keep that thing on a leash? And what's with, what's with sending your emissary to come and get us? Are you really that desperate? The Dragonians are pre prepared to do whatever is necessary. Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. What the? You know about Ami? The water dragon is our guardian deity and protector of the seas. It kept the peace by pacifying chaos whenever it reared its head. But all that changed just one month ago. Oni Island, the dark place of ancient legend, suddenly appeared. Evil beings swarmed into the sea and laid siege to the dragon palace. We mustered our forces in battle, but the enemy was too strong. Most of our realm fell into the hands of the forces of darkness. It was then that the water dragon appeared. With overwhelming strength, it routed the enemy for enemy's forces. But the enemy's leader, the Dark Lord, had unimaginable powers. The water dragon nearly fell in the face of his onslaught. So grave were his wounds that he flew into an uncontrollable rage. The dark forces then pulled back from the sea leaving behind these chaotic waters plagued by the rampaging dragon. So you're saying that control that you're so you're saying that control of the water dragon we never had control of the water dragon. It is our guardian deity, but its madness now endangers us as much as anyone else. You've got to be kidding me. The water dragon is supposed to break the barrier in Oni Island. What what hope 
do we have of attacking the enemy if it won't help us? Indeed, there is little hope left. It appears that all is gone as the Dark Lord planned. Would you like to listen to Her Royal Highness once more? Uh, this is... I don't really want to say it's a trap, but... They're, they pull a Gabor, a Kabora Gabora here, where they're like, Would you like to listen to her again? And you think that she's going to say something interesting, but she'll actually just repeat everything that she just said. I have gotten stuck on this before... Well, not stuck, but, you know, I, I kept saying yes because I was kind of dense, and I kept listening to it, thinking she was going to say something different, but actually, if you say no, that's when stuff happens. Bah, we don't need to hear all that stuff again. We can't break the, air bo the barrier on Oni Island without the water dragon. Himiko prayed long and hard to locate that island, and now we can't even get on it. Come on, Ami. You're a god, ain't ya? Don't you have some secret weapon hidden up your sleeve? Please, wait. It is true that we cannot control the water dragon. However, there is still a way to harness its power. There is? Then why didn't you just say so? It is a deed of last resort and fraught with grave danger. Alas, it is beyond our power. That is why we summoned you, Matarasu. You probably want us to go tie a leech around the dragon, right? Well, we're not going to do anything crazy like that. It's not like we, could, we couldn't pull it off or anything. Right, Ami? I mean, Orca would probably help us out, right? This deed, is a, this deed of last resort is as follows. You must retrieve the dragon orb. Dragon orb? What's that? So you're saying we can just forget about the water dragon and go hunt for the dragon orb thing? Sounds like a piece of cake. I mean, we're, we're treasure hunting pros. We already know the location of the dragon orb. It lies in the belly of the water dragon. You must enter the water dragon's body. Come again? The dragon orb is the essence of the water dragon's power. With it in my possession, I could easily break through the barrier that protects Oni Island. Will you not enter the water dragon through its gaping jaws and retrieve the dragon orb that lies deep in its belly? With it, I could break the barrier that protects Oni Island. Now wait just a second, lady. Get some orb from the water dragon's stomach? Are you nuts? That is the only way left to break the barrier in Oni Island. Uh, and she says the same thing. Whoa, slow down there, sister. I make it a habit of never saying no to a pretty face. But if my boss here says no, there's not much I can do. Well, boss, we gonna help this chick or what? Help out, help out the Hime? Uh, sure. Bummer. Well, the boss has spoken, which... <laughs> huh? But, but, Ami! Oh, great Amaterasu, your compassion is truly as deep as the sea, and you are ever quick to decide. This uh, amulet will allow you to enter the Water Dragon's Garden. You obtained Shell Amulet. Amulet? Amulet? Omelet? I don't know. Water Dragon's Garden? That is correct. The Water Dragon makes its lair in a garden here at our palace. Here at this palace? That thing lives here? It does, but it will not attack us as long as we leave it be. I doubt we could ever come out alive if we entered its lair. But I truly believe that Amaterasu can retrieve the Dragon Orb. I shall pray for your safe return. Okay. Also, I'm proud of Isun. That is like the first main or inte integral, I don't know, the main important female plot character that Isun has not oogled at and lost his brains and all common sense he ever had. I'm proud of you, you Isun. Although I'm not really proud that you <laughs> that you were like that you did the same thing. Well, if the boss speaks, who am I to stand in her way? And then she's like, bummer, he's like, bummer, the boss has spoken. I don't know. She's done that three times now, and it just kind of puzzles me. After the second time, it's like, Isun, you're kind of repeating history. Look at the mess we're in now. Why are you so eager to please? Ah, forget it. Let's go, uh, let's go get that barrier-breaking orb. The water dragon's garden should be around here somewhere. So, uh, with that, with the amulet and paw, let's go ahead and go. Okay, sorry for the cut there, you guys probably didn't really notice, but uh, I had to deal with something on my computer, it was just really weird, uh, I, I really won't go into it, but it was just very strange. Okay, uh, let's see, it was, it was lagging the recording, so I had to fix that before anything happened. The cut probably wasn't really noticeable, but it was enough that I had to stop, I had to like stop actually doing something and fix it, uh, so yeah. 
let's go ahead and talk to this person. Oh, you got a, a shell amulet? So you have the permission of Otohime. Forgive my rudeness. You may pass. Uh, I don't want to go that way. I don't want to go that way. Just yeah. Okay, good. Uh, I was hoping that it, that it was not going to be like a scripted thing where I would walk in. I want to go in the opposite way because there's some stuff to be explored there. Oh, you got a shell amulet. Oh, sh both ways. Okay. So actually, we couldn't have gone these directions. Ami, doesn't it seem like we've been meeting a lot of girls lately? I mean, how long has it been since we ran to a guy? I only half hope they don't take advantage of me. Heh heh heh. Isun. Shut up. <laughs> Seriously, just shut your mouth. <laughs> okay, let's let's go in here. I believe this is the way we need to go, hopefully. Uh indeed it is. Okay. With all these very strange people dancing. Let's talk to one of them. Once again, this game is rated T for Teen. Spring up, spring, Lulu. Spring up, spring, Lulu. Is it just me or are the others singing something different? That water dragon's causing havoc now that it's settled in the palace. It snores so loud and every time it stirs, there's an earthquake. I don't know if that's why, but our swirly swirly spring has dried up. Used us dra dance troop girls have been ordered to do water dance, but this dance won't get any spring flowing again. No, I say we need to smash through the rock under the spring. If we hit water, then we would get the spring going again. If only someone would help and dig a hole where the spring was. Okay. You. Spring forth, spring, la la la. Spring forth, spring, la la la. Hey there, cutie. Want to dance? Calls a dog cutie, okay. Spring, f okay, she just says the same thing. This is the swirly whirly spring, a swirly whirlpool of happiness. Its waters make amazing things happen to you. It'll spring into action anytime now, so don't go yet. I won't. <laughs> spring, f oh, she says, okay, I, I'm not going to read that. There's nothing the, da the Dragon Palace dance troupe can't do by dancing. That sounds like. Uh, dance, dance, revolution, Mario mix. Spring. Okay. So, doggy, which one of us is the prettiest? Um. Uh, let's, let me, let me actually, I'm actually going to consider this seriously. Well, <laughs> four of you are identical. One of you is not. Um, but let's see. The choice is really blue, red, yellow, or green. Hmm, green. Let's rule out yellow and orange. Blue is kind of generic. Let's go with green. You're the prettiest, the one who actually asked me. There. Do you feel better? I hope not. <laughs> I hope not because you're a strange person asking a wolf if if she thinks you're pretty. Okay, let's let's go ahead and dig through this. There is other stuff to do in this not really room, but in this enclosure, but I will be waiting to do that because this is important. Oh, why are you digging this dried up? Why are you digging this dried, sp dried up spring, doggy? Hoping to smash the rock under the spring to find water, are you? You must have a good nose on you. That was my plan too. Come on then, doggy. Help me dig down under the spring. We'll see if we can smash through the rock and revive the spring. Help dig up the spring? Sure. Okay then. Here we go. I'll tell you how we're going to dig through. Although I guess you're pretty good at digging already, huh? Since I'm down to the deepest rock, I'll, once I'm down to the deepest rock, I'll hit it as hard as I can. You just focus on digging and get me down to the deepest point. Got it? Or do you want me to explain that again? Hear the explanation again? I'm fine. Great. Don't let me down. Oh, joy. Whoa. What? Oh, we're at the bottom. Wait. 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 Oh, whoa. That is actually... That's actually really creative. We start at the bottom. But, what's her name? The dancer girl starts at the top. Okay. I see you, game. I see what you're doing. So we actually have to dig up from the bottom and reach her to bring her down. Aha. And I can't destroy that except with the cherry bomb. Although, I can use cherry bomb twice. There we go. Uh, and that's good. Uh, I can't jump up there, but I can do this. And jump here. And there. Okay. 
power slash that. This is a lot easier now that I have the regeneration ink, the golden ink pots. Uh, actually, I want to go this way. I think that will be easier. Okay, power slash that. Uh, I didn't do that jump correctly. Okay, hit this. Jump up here, preferably not hitting that spiky thing. Uh, let's power slash that. And then jump up here. We're making good time, I think, hopefully. I don't know where Dancer Girl is, but I hope she's nearby. Ugh. Jump, jump. Okay, jump, jump. Okay, hit this. Jump up here. I'm not going to bother getting the, the time things because really, I doubt we're going to need any more than five minutes. Power slash that. Uh, power slash this. Jump up here. Two cherry bombs. Once. Twice. Done. Power slash. And we're not at the top, but we're almost at the top. Now we're at the top. Okay, wow. Okay, so we actually have to go down this way. Now I can see why I might need more, more time. Uh, it's really good that I don't really need ink here. Uh, because I'm, I was really low there for a second. Okay, let's dig here. And power slash. Power slash. And dig. Yeah, I don't really need much ink going down. There are no real instances where I would. And go down here. And use this. Gale storm. Gale storm. Gale storm. Gale storm. Uh, Gale storm. Seriously, Gale Storm! What are you doing? There we go! Gale Storm! Sheesh! What was that? Like, I, I don't know why it kept doing the starry the Stargate. Stargate. The starry thing. It's really strange. Okay. We're almost done. Let's do this. Got it. There, and we're almost at the bottom. I think this is the last thing. Nope, I have to dig through here. And power slash this. Mash C. Yeah, we're not going to need, need any more than than five minutes. I was a little bit worried there when I saw that there was kind of like a part two to this area, but this is actually a lot easier than uh than even the bingo than the bingo uh, digging ch challenge. Uh, there we go. It actually worked, and I lost a bunch of time there. Only ten seconds actually, so it wasn't that bad. And is there going to be an end to this like anytime soon? Okay, we're at the bottom. Good. That was... That was a trial. Nope. Ami. Get the money. There. Money. And we're done with... A uh, minute 50 seconds to spare. Here's my question. How on earth is there a spring of water in the ocean? That does not make sense. Yeah, right on. Wahoo! I smashed right through that rock. And look at that, the spring's gushing again! With a bunch of graphical glitches for whatever reason. Er, the spring's running again. But... Oh, you, you're sad. Why are you sad? This isn't good. The swirly whirly is missing! The whirl's gone? Exactly! It's the swirly whirly that kept us all in good health up till now. Without it, we'd lose the will to live. Anyway, enough! Just whining about it is not going to help, is it? Everyone, we've got to summon the Swirly Whirly back again. We'll transfer our passion and enthusiasm into the spring by running around it as fast as we possibly can. Fire emblem. I'm not going to do that again. Uh, but we just need to draw the circle, and we can put all their swirly, whirly, running efforts at ease. Ah, Matarasu, origin of all of all that is good, mother to us all. Followers in need of your and your own pure. Sorry. Followers in need and your own pure heart have restored my power. I, Niragami, have a new power to bestow upon you. I have harnessed the fervent energy of those in need to create the power called Fountain. Use it well. Now, I actually forgot what this does, sort of, so... Uh, I'm going to actually have to rely upon Isun's explanation. I have a, 
I have a theory of what it does, but I'll I'll hold my I'll hold my thoughts on what that is until Isun is done. Yeah, right on. Wahoo! The Swirly Whirlies return to the spring. The Swirly Whirl Whirly Springs' real name is the Swirling Spring. It's a portal the Dragonians made to connect to the land. If you jump in when it's swirling, you can go to different places. Sometimes we girls use it to get out and have some fun on land. Oops, you won't tell Otohime about the about that, would you? Well. Anyway, thanks for all your help, doggy. Here, have this. You'll be surprised at what's inside. Will I really? Let's... Is it... I'm guessing just a scroll about the technique that we got. I knew it. Brute strength is the only answer in the end. From now on, the Dragon Palace dance troupe's motto is muscle. Oh, well, good luck with that. Boy, Ami, that's one mean brush you wield. I bet you could summon one of those travel whirlpools anytime you want if you use that technique on a mermaid spring. Now we can travel ac across Nippon for free. Guess it pays to help people out every now and then. Oh, so, okay, so my theory was correct. Uh, you remember how we got, we got mist warp? Well, there is an, uh, there is another technique that allows you to basically use mist warp on, uh, on mermaid springs. So now we can travel through m mermaid springs wherever we want. Really sweet, that's, that's pretty cool. Okay, uh, there are a couple secrets in here. First, well, not secret, but a couple things that we need to take use of and har harvest? Harvest? I don't know. Uh, first off is that. Second off is the clover right here. And third, thirdly, clover, there we go. Thirdly, are these drums? Yeah, these are drums. They're a little bit weird for drums, but they're drums. Uh, you can see that up there, there's a chest. We actually cannot reach that we can barely not reach it with uh with our double jump yeah i missed that entirely so uh get up there ami sir ami get up there thank you so what we need to do is use rejuvenation which we have not used in a long time to restore this drum and now we have a stepping stool to the top and on the top is a chest that contains a stray bead there you go. And with that, we're done. We have we have a new brush technique, and we have a stray bead. And next time in Pal Plays Okami, we'll be heading through that door over there, because that leads to the Dragon's Garden. I'll see you guys next time for another Paladin Plays Okami. I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes. And if you like this episode, then comment. If you don't like this episode, then comment and tell me how I can make next episode so that you would, you would like it.